Dayo, Dayo, this is Jokitena, my Tuadeya, the one who has seen, and the guard of stories. Uh, I want to make it clear to those who are asking me where I went for my schooling. I went to a primary school in Jimuru and I went in a secondary school in Jimuru. But about this job, native doctor, you don't go to school. We don't go to theology. We don't learn from, it, we don't have a manual. We don't refer to anything because I am dominated by my ancestors. The ancestors show me what to do. They show me what to eat, what to dress, what to say to people. They show me who is coming to visit me. They show me the calamities ahead. If you can view my my videos at YouTube, you you see there's a, a, a small YouTube I had opened last year. I said that this year 2021 is a year of uncertainties and I believe we are experiencing a lot of uncertainties. That is the work of our ancestors. Remember Jeremiah when he was called, he was called, he was a young boy, he would hear his name being called and he had to answer. And even Samuel, I think he was called by, he would hear voices calling him. That is the similar thing that we experience. We are so many people, even you, especially who are throwing stones to me. Most of you are native doctors. Maybe you are herbalists. Maybe you are midwives. Maybe you you are those who initiate boys. Maybe, maybe those who are throwing stones to me, most of them are native doctors. You are in religion, but one day you'll come to the light, you'll meet the light, that will be your turning point, and you'll know the difference between the religion and spirituality. The time you'll have severe headache, almost like meningitis, that is when you will meet your maker, and that will be your turning point. You will have migraine that will not stop, and that is when the third eye is opening we the native doctors or the spiritual people the gifted people we use the third eye you might see something it's black but me i'll tell you it is white you might see someone is a man but i'll tell you is a woman because like me you may think that i'm a woman yes because of the name teclan joki and i was born as a girl but actually i am a man spiritually those who have spiritual i will know that i am a man so you who is an ordinary person will think that i am a female even in my identification i am a female but those who are spiritually gifted will see a man in me that is why i say you you can say someone is a man but i tell you this is a woman and that's that's one of the things that makes a native doctor to lack to miss a good marriage you find that you've tried marriages they don't succeed because you are not the person you think you are you might be a man but you are a female and so you try to get married and it will not work it is high time you know who you are and who dominates you our ancestors there we know we have the ancestors and the living dead ancestors they are those who died so many years ago we didn't meet them we don't know them but we know they were there not believing we know they were there and uh the living dead are those we who we know we used to live with them and they left they are died they, they are dead so we know we have them the ancestors occupy our body me i am a fruit of our ancestors i am a rebirth of one of my ancestors and that's why if I meet my relatives, they will tell me you look like so and so, and the so and so is already gone. We, it's like the incarnation. You are material of your ancestors, and that is why the the spiritually gifted people we don't fear other people's or ancestors or trust them like me. I don't believe in Jesus Christ because he's not one of my ancestors i have my ancestors i have my ancestors who died for me yes i have my ancestors mm. how do you know that the ancestors are looking for you 
you have dreams where they are chasing you you see people chasing you all your dreams you are always running 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 you turn in your bed you turn you wake up the beds the beddings are down on the floor you never have calm silent night you are always on the run at night and nightmares are frequent and at times you hear like someone is calling your name you hear someone shouting your name you look behind no one is calling you and at time you hear a knock a knock on your door someone is knocking your door these are your ancestors at times you feel you smell a certain smell maybe perfume maybe a perfume that your mother who is gone used to use maybe a cigarette that your uncle used to smoke maybe tobacco that your grandfather used to use maybe a certain food that your grandmother used to make you feel that smell you see that is how you know that your ancestors are with you and they are very close to you and you cannot deny it once you allow your ancestors to use you they use your body because ancestors they are those people who are there but now they are dead they, they are their spirits they don't have body and they want to accomplish what they had to if they are doctors and they didn't treat people they have to come back to treat people because they have they are being punished where they are most of our ancestors have not gone to rest in peace between the living and rest in peace there is a a, a gap a valley of dead the dead and this is where jesus went and he fought according to what you are being told there is a valley a big valley so so many of our ancestors are in this valley they have not gone to rest in peace so they come to us they want this body so that they can accomplish what they were supposed to remember from 1850 maybe when missionaries came to africa most of our ancestors stopped worshipping the year god and doing the year cultural things and doing their sacrifices and rituals and so they are wherever they are now because they are gone they are punished because of not doing what they were supposed you have to know the purpose and reason why you came to this world we didn't come here to go to school get married and have kids and then we die you must know who you are you say that you know who god says you are who are you you say that the bible says that before you entered your mother's womb god knew you when he knew you it shows that you had a, a, a meeting with your maker. Who did he call you? What did he call you? What did he give you? Because you came to this world carrying your own things that you are supposed to do because you have a purpose in this earth. It is not just coming and dying. So once you know who you are and you know your ancestors and you let them dominate your body, like me, I think the other day I told you I have three different clans that are using this body i have the Edanga, i have the aboy and i have the wasagala they are using this body and i am at peace now because they don't i don't struggle with them once i allow them to use this body you get peace in abundance i no longer dream running they come and they speak to me they opened my eyes my eyes and they open my ears i listen not hearing there's a difference between hearing and <laughs> listening this the voice that you hear me making it is them who are communicating with me because they are with me i can feel i can tell you who is with me now that is when you'll hear me mapping yes and they control me when i'm going overboard they control that when i get that sound it is an interesting job and we i don't encourage i don't encourage you i'm not forcing you it is your own issues will take you bogoini it is your own issues that will make you look for a native doctor i am not a hawker of this thing i am not a evangelist uh, you will never see me in a market telling people to do this to do this to go i am just alerting those people who are, are in darkness yes you believe that you are a believer but you do not know i want you to stop believing and start knowing about god not believing god knowing him and knowing what he really wants and once you know about god and you know about your ancestors and you know about your roots you'll know your greatness your happiness 
you'll find happiness and this path is the 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 the, 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 the narrow one because here we don't entertain they don't the ancestors remember our supervisors are the ancestors they don't entertain immorality at all they don't entertain corruption at all they don't allow any sly any mistakes they don't allow killing you is like it's like that yes yes you can join them anytime and i always tell my kids that i can join my ancestors anytime because silly mistake you join them but blessing you is like that they bless you they bless you until the blessed call you the blessed they give you peace they add you more life because there is no life after there is no the, the heavenly life that you have been promised nothing this is heaven this is heaven why ask for another life when you still have this have you done with this life Okay, there are those people who say we are using the Saturn things. Who is Saturn? Who is devil? Do you believe there is devil? <laughs> who is Saturn? Those are myths. Saturn, 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 to me, I don't believe there is Saturn. I don't know him. So I don't know. I cannot talk about Saturn. I don't know him. I don't know the devil. So I don't. I talk of the things that I know. I can talk about God and I cannot preach about God because everyone knows about God. If you tell me that I have to go for training for training about how to to treat people. Okay, I can go training how to associate with people, how to use computer, how to speak to people, how to carry myself, the PR. Yes, that one I can go to school. But how to to use the the cards. This one I cannot go to school. If one day the animals will learn how to mate and how to conceive and how to give birth and how how to lactate how to breastfeed then amodomogo will go to school yes if there be document documentary of animals going back to school to be told to be taught how to give birth and how to feed and how to protect their young ones then i believe that the college of native doctors Yes, we can go to school to learn manners, but not how to use the shells. No. That is God-given. It is talent that I have. It is God, and it cannot be stolen. You can you can kill me, but it cannot be stolen. Yes. Even in the Bible, they use, they use the salt that we normally use to heal. They use the, the, they use the soil. They use the rod. Why do you believe the Bible and you don't want to believe our, our culture? All you say our uh, males. Okay, it is an awakening call and no one will awake you. Your ancestors will awake you. Sawa sawa. Uh, I think